This is a Gathering Heritage project interview recorded in County Louth in Ireland. Now, I'd like to welcome Frank Conroy. Frank, an old neighbour of mine, of course, from Hill Street. And we're going to talk about the Democrat office. Now, the Democrat office uh, is still there, but it's a wee restaurant called Reeves at the moment. But, um, Frank, the Democrat was uh, the office and the printers was very much like an awful lot of other places in town, particularly like McArdle Moors, where if your father was in it, you would get in it. Was that did that happen all the time? You how did you get into it? Well, actually, I served my time in McGowan's on the ramparts, and then after that, I went to work in the Drod Independent, and then my father retired from the Demo- from the Democrat. And I decided I would like to come back to the town. So I approached Mr. Rowe, who was the, the owner, and I got into the Democrat because I was f- kind of fed up travelling up and down to Drogheda. So that's how I got into it. Mm. And as you say, it was a family business. My father walked in it. My cousin, Jean Conroy, walked in it. And then I came into it. And between the three of us, I think we might have actually walked... Between the three of us, we was 150 years between the three of us. So you were right in a way. It was a sort of a family tradition, like like the breweries. Now, of course, it was the only local paper at that time, or was it? Was the Examiner still around at that time? I think the Examiner might have finished in the f- 50s or 60s, but the Democrat was the, the main paper. Yeah. And it was going back now, or looking back now, Frank, and the way pr- the printing is done, we'll go through it in more detail in a minute, but there, it's all done by computers in five minutes now. Yeah. But uh, st- what would happen? It came out of a Saturday, Frank, wasn't it? Oh, it was a Saturday paper. And as a matter of fact, a, a lot of the workers would, had approached Mr. Rowe. The paper was finished, was printed on a Friday night. And some of us actually asked Mr. Rowe, would he not take the paper out on a Friday night and maybe it could, it could make a lot of money by coming out on a Friday night would hit the hit the, the pubs no tradition is tradition no way would it come out on a Friday night it was a Saturday paper and that's it he was a, a man of tradition and a man that ruled the roost down there didn't he he was he was the boss I would say he, he, he was not a Fergal Quinn put it that way you walked for him, and that was it. You you done your you walked. There was there was no incentives as such. He 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 was the boss. Listen to the full interview on www.gatheringheritage.com. <laughs> <laughs> 